today's video tutorial, we'll be checking out OpenCart POS Flutter application itself. Hi, and welcome back to this new video tutorial of OpenCart. In today's video tutorial, we'll be checking out OpenCart POS Flutter application itself. So we'll be checking out this particular application at the uh, POS terminal agents end wherein we'll be seeing how the POS terminal agents would be able to log into their POS terminal using the mobile uh, device or the tablets there itself. Now kindly note that this particular uh, mobile application that we have created for the point of sale there for the open card uh, will allow you to uh, bring your web-based OpenCart web store onto the mobile devices so that uh, the particular POS terminals are now available to the uh, POS agents uh, on their uh, mobile devices itself and the devices can be of the Android and the iOS uh, types as well uh, their mobile devices or their uh, what we say as the tablets so uh, the uh, uh, particular agents uh, would now be able to as I've already told you would be able to log into their POS terminals using the mobile application So the same would be demonstrated in today's video tutorial for the Android devices there So what I've done is that I've downloaded the open card POS Flutter application from the Google Play Store and I have installed it on my uh, Android uh, tablet there so I'll be taking you through the procedure there of uh, the particular application itself at the POS terminal agents end I uh, will be seeing the different features that we have uh, within the uh, uh, app itself and apart from that we'll also be seeing how we'll be able to place the orders in the online as well as in the offline mode how we'll be able to hold the orders and much more so for the same uh, we'll be hopping on to the uh, front end of the android device there but before i proceed further with this particular video tutorial that please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end and if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up so let's hop on to the front end of the uh, android tablet and let's see the particular working of this open card pos flutter application so right now you can see that uh, i have this android device in my hand uh, this is a tablet basically android tablet and what i've done is i've downloaded the uh, open card pos flutter app from the Google Play Store on this particular Android device itself. So now I'll be demonstrating you how this particular application works for the uh, what we say as the sales agents uh, there uh, or the sales uh, team member there. So for that what I'll be doing is I'll be opening this particular app by tapping on the app and as soon as the app opens up you can see that we have the open card point of sale terminal uh, there. Uh, wherein the uh, particular sales agent needs to enter his username and password that was sent on to his email address when the, uh, that particular sales agent was created from the uh, web-based uh, uh, POS uh, of the uh, open card there in the configuration settings for the same there itself. So uh, let's enter the details here for the sales agent uh, and uh, then we'll be tapping here on the sign in button thereafter. So let's tap here on the sign in button. So you can see that we'll be successfully logged in. We have a successful uh, message there. And on the left hand side, you can see that the products have loaded up on the uh, homepage of the uh, POS terminal there. On the right hand side, we have this particular section that you can see uh, that's the cart section uh, where we already have a particular product that was added earlier there. And from here, we can uh, change the quantity. Uh, no product from, from cart is okay. So from here we can set up the discount, uh, basically uh, the uh, coupon section, uh, we can uh, scan the barcode of the product to uh, add it to the cart there and we can select a particular customer as well and we can delete the cart as well. So if I tap on the delete button there, this would empty the cart as you've seen and the rest of the quantity, discount, coupon, barcode, pay, delete and the customer option has been removed there or has been disabled basically. So what I'll do is I'll just add one product into the cart there. So first of all, let me show you the different options that we have at the very top. So the very first option that you can see are the three horizontal lines tapping that up uh, or swapping from left to right will bring up this particular section where in the cashier would be able to see the home page, his orders, the orders on hold, offline orders, uh, low stock products, the request for the low stock product section and the request history section. Apart from that, he also has the basic settings, other settings and the printer settings there that need to be configured there for the uh, POS terminal. So he can access 
these options from this particular section so we'll going, be going through these options one by one there now at the very top we have the option of this uh, after the home icon here you can see that we have the wi-fi icon so if i tap on that the internet would be disabled as you can see i have to enable the internet once again uh, to again uh, connect to the wi-fi there so we are again connected to the wi-fi as you you've seen then we have show all products so from here you can choose whether you want to show different category products so you can choose the categories as well and according to the categories the products would be displayed onto the home screen of the uh, POS app as you can see here uh, with subcategories as well so if electronics has subcategories those subcategories would also be displayed so here we have the products of the subcategories as well so let's go back and let's select show all products here all products have been displayed uh, then we have the search icon here you can search for a particular uh, product as well tap on the search go back you can see that the particular product has been searched that's the Nikon if I add it into the cart now there are two units of the Nikon D300 there itself now after that we have the hold option if I tap on the hold this would uh, basically uh, put this particular cart on hold and would be listed under the particular section here on the left hand side panel under the orders on hold so if I go to the orders on hold here I'll find that particular cart and basically uh, the hold cart uh, functionality works uh, like for example if a customer has come up and he has uh, said that he wants to purchase some more products so he'll be coming back in a while so if there's a long queue uh, standing there then what you can do is then you can process the uh, new uh, cart there for the other customer there and you can put the uh, already uh, the, the customer that was there for him you can put his card on hold till he comes back after some time and then from this particular section you can select that particular card you can delete that card you can close that out or you can check out by tapping here on the uh, checkout option itself now let's go back uh, these were the options now let's cancel this uh, search and let's go back all of the products are there on the home screen now let's uh, place an order there so uh, for example if I want to apply a discount on this particular card there I can tap on the discount I can apply a fixed discount as well as for the requirement there and uh, you can see that I have applied 10 uh, fixed and 10 percentage that would come down to total 26 and you can set the name of the discount as well that would be visible on the card section here so if I set it as discount 1 let's say it is done and i tap here on the apply button then you can see on the card we have the discount one uh, for 26 dollars there on the subtotal of the particular card itself now uh, you can also uh, scan the products and edit add them into the card by tapping on the barcode there apart from that you have the coupon option if i tap on the coupon if i have an available coupon uh, uh that the customer has i can apply that up from this particular section to gain more discounts there on the particular order that uh, is going to be placed on behalf of the customer there using the pos terminal now then we have the barcode if i tap on the barcode we can scan the barcode there you can see that the uh, screen has opened up and we can scan the particular barcode there and the product would be added into the card there itself then we have the customer section if i tap on the customer option here that's highlighted right now then i can select a particular customer for this particular transaction or the checkout that we are going to make and we can also add a customer by tapping here on the add customer button that you can see uh, then we have to add the details of the new customer and then tap on the continue button thereafter so for now let me select with do as a customer and i'll tap here on the pay button then we have the choose payment method so i'll select uh, the default one available right now that's the cash and i'll enter the amount tendered by the customer i'll tap on the next button so we have to give 66 dollars as the change if i want to add a note for the order i can add the note for the order as well as per the requirement there and i can tap here on the accept payment after tapping on the accept payment you can see that the orders are synchronized to this uh, server there and the order, order has been created successfully as well if i want to print the receipt i can tap on the print receipt receipt and you can see that we have still not configured our printer till now so that's why we are getting this uh, pop-up there so we'll have to set that up uh, i'll tap on the next order so this was the section wherein we saw the orders uh, being placed there and uh, the rest of the uh, sections uh, that were available on the uh, home page of the uh, 
POS terminal there at the very top we had different options we saw those as well now let's uh, see the left hand section that we have here uh, on the POS terminal on the left hand side when we swipe from the left to right we have home so if I tap on home the home would be displayed home page again would be displayed let's come back then if I go to the orders I can see uh, the complete list of orders that have been placed so if I want to check any particular order details, I can tap on that particular order and the particular details of that particular order would be displayed uh, to the POS terminal agent there. And from here, he can see the complete uh, list of the orders that have been placed as well. So here's the order details. And from here, if I want, I can print the receipt and uh, I can close this out as well. And uh, so that was the order section. And then we have the orders on hold. We have already gone through that option. Then we have the offline orders. Now, for example, if I switch off the internet here, I'll switch off the Wi-Fi as you can see. Now, if I add a product into the cart, I select a customer. I tap on the pay option. Amount tendered by customer, for example, 100 uh, there. Uh, we have to give 20 change, accept payment. The particular thing would be processed. The order has been created. Next order. So now if I go or uh, swipe from left to right and go to the offline orders, we'll see the new particular order that was the offline order. Now if I want to check the details of this order, what I can do is I can tap on that and that will bring up the complete details. Here you can see on the order details, we have a cross icon on the Wi-Fi there. And if I want to uh, synchronize this order with the uh, online web store there, then I can tap here on the sync order. So right now you can see that it's showing no internet connectivity. So for that, I have to go back first, enable the internet, then check the details of the order uh, by tapping on the order. We are connected to the internet. Now if I tap here on the sync order, the orders are synchronized to the server is being displayed, right? Uh, then uh, we have the low stock products. If any of the products are in low stock, then those would be listed here as you can see within this particular section itself. So uh, that were the particular sections that we just saw in the back end there, uh, in the in the front end of the uh, POS terminal there. That were the home orders, orders on hold, offline orders, low stock products. Now let's see how we can basically request a particular uh, low stock product that's there and how we can see the history of the same and the rest of the configuration settings still available there in the front end panel of the POS terminal itself on, of the within the mobile application there. So here we can go to the request section and here for example I want to uh, enter e uh, the quantity for the evening black dress here for example I can set it to 100 I'll tap next 100 and uh, I can choose a supplier right now I have a daily supplier there if I want to add any comments I can add the comments and I can tap here on the uh, okay I need to check the product as well okay i have to set it as between 5 to 10 i'll set it as 5 make request and the request would be generated there to the particular supplier for supplying the particular products uh, to the particular what we say as the pos terminal uh, wherever the physical uh, store location is there so after this uh, let's go back all right this is still processing there so uh, that's how we can uh, basically uh, generate the request for the low stock products there. Now let's go back and uh, let's swipe it out and then we have the request history. Under the request history, you'll see the complete details of the ID, the date, the request history, the product name, the supplier name uh, and the quantity requested and the status for each as well. Apart from that, uh, we also have the basic settings wherein you can set up your first name, last name, your username can be changed. Uh, you can change your password as well and you can tap on the save details to save the details there itself. Now let's go back and uh, after the basic settings we have the other settings. Under the other settings you will be able to choose the language for your POS terminal. You can choose between LTR and the RTL languages as well as for the requirement. Apart from that you can select the currency of the uh, POS terminal there as per your own requirement. Let's go back. And uh, lastly, we have the printer settings. So here you have to choose the particular printer that would be uh, at the default printer for your uh, POS terminal uh, mobile application there. And using the uh, particular mobile application, you'll be able to print the receipts uh, as well. 
So uh, this was uh, the uh, particular mobile application for the OpenCart POS uh, Flutter based application there and I hope that this particular video helped you out in understanding the complete workflow of the uh, particular app itself. If you still have any questions, queries, sessions or requirements regarding the same then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.ubdesk.com as well. And lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.